Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Let's talk solar panels, and there seems to be a theory out there, or there's a question on how many solar panels do we need? There's an old theory out there that still seems to be circulating around that you need one watt for every amp hour of battery you have. So if you have a 200 amp hour battery, a 200 watt solar panel will be enough. And can I tell you, that's simply not true. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now, if you're getting into solar, I'll definitely recommend that you use lithium batteries. Lithium batteries are just a far better choice when it comes to using high demand or high amp uh, demands through an inverter. Lithium batteries are so much better. But let's get into some of the theory behind how much solar panels, how many solar panels, or should say how much wattage we have going to our batteries. When we're using the older style batteries, we're talking about using lead acid batteries, AGM batteries, or gel batteries, there's a limit on how much current can actually charge those batteries. And typically we're looking at anywhere between 35 and 55 amps on a continuous basis. What we don't want to do is overtax those batteries. And so there's this theory out there for every watt, you can have one amp hour. For every amp hour of battery, you can have a single you know, watt. Well, here's the thing. Watts is determined by volts times amps, and so it's actually a 12 to one. You don't need to know that. This is what you need to know. If you actually switch over, you're looking at going solar and you're going with lithium batteries, what we really want to do is, is we want to see how many, how much power you're actually consuming. Because now, with our solar panels, we covered last week that you can actually use a solar controller. And the solar controller will actually feed not only the batteries, but it's also connected in, in line with your inverter. And so when we're looking at how many solar panels we need, what we ultimately need to say is how much power are we actually consuming during the day? If we can supply that much power on the roof, then we're not using our batteries during the day and we're saving them for the nighttime. And typically we can get on an average RV anywhere from 2000 watts up to about 3000 watts. Wouldn't it be great if you can get 3000 watts on your roof and you're only consuming about 3000 watts inside your rig. Now you're saving your batteries for the nighttime when you have no sun. And that's really where we want to look. Here's the great thing about solar panels. You can add to them. You can start off with one or two. And as long as you're not exceeding the output of your solar controller, you can continue to add more. Now notice if you do add more, you may need to add more solar controllers, but it is something that you can add as you go on. And you can add solar controllers, and if you want to learn a little bit more about solar controllers, click here. You buy 800 watts of solar and you're not getting 800 watts all the time. Well, 800 watts, that's going to be the peak that you're actually going to receive. Now when are you going to get that? When that sun is directly over those solar panels and you're getting a perfect sun strike. Now let's think about this. Here's your rig. Here's, you know, as the sun's coming up from the east and sets in the west, you're not getting that perfect sun strike until you get close to noon. And of course, there can be no clouds or no obstructions in the way. So when we see that these panels are rated for, say, 200 watts each, 300 watts each, or 400 watts each, there are several conditions. One, the sun strike has to be in the right area, but two, if it's super hot outside, it's 100 degrees heat, is an amperage killer, also a voltage killer, and that's gonna slow down how many watts can actually go through. Cold days, very cold days, sun straight above there, woo -hoo, you're at maximum voltage. But typically, you're not gonna get that voltage all the way through throughout the whole day. And there's your tech tip. You are live. Yes. All right, let's, hmm, let her be. Going to continue with our solar series and let's talk solar panels right after this. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by the letter B. Voltage, I'm sorry. So wouldn't it be great if you can get 3000 watts on your solar, on your uh, deck? Nah. Hello, how are you doing? Well, we covered this last week. There seems to be a question instantly from you guys out there uh, behind the camera. That was boring as hell. That was good.